Let's, let's look at OO Genesis. This is the process of, of making mature ovum, all right, for the female. So, OO Genesis. Similar, similarly as in the male, we have the same process of going through mitosis and meiosis. So, initially you have germ cells called o Ogonia. These are the 46, of course. Then these cells, let's pick one, will undergo mitosis. Mitosis. And unlike in the male, where one stays behind, both cells will go forward. So after mitosis, these cells are now called primary, primary oocytes. And then, it's, 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 both will do, but let's pick one for simplicity. So here we go. This cell undergoes meiosis one to form one cell of 23, the small little thing the, the, the also has 23 chromosomes. Its only job is to take away the, the, the chromosomes, okay? This one is called the first polar body, and this now is called your secondary, secondary oocyte, okay? And then this one will do it again, and it will do meiosis, Two and again, this one, the small is called the second polar body. And this one now is called your ovum. Okay, so let's let's let's, let's put in some caveats here. So some some of the, the peculiarities that are that take place with the female system. So this begins. This process begins at during the first probably five months, first two months, frankly, of, of pregnancy. While you're in the, the uterus, you already start this process. So let's go here. So, so to go from primary oocyte to secondary oocyte, along the way, the cells will stop, arrest, arrest in prophase one. That's called the first meiotic, Arrest. So the cells stop, stop meiosis two at prophase, at stop meiosis one at prophase one, and you stay there until birth. So this happens like probably, probably around eight eight months of eight months of pregnancy or so. This process stops on the and they all will arrest there and stay there until birth and until puberty. So then. So you're born with all of the oocytes arrested in prophase one, of meiosis one, as primary oocytes. And then after puberty, so you have birth, then puberty, then it begins again. So at puberty, each month, one or two of these cells will complete meiosis one to form a secondary oocyte and then that secondary oocyte will start meiosis two, but again, arrest at metaphase two. And that is your second meiotic arrest. So that's uh, and it will stay here and it will only complete the entire thing. It will only complete uh, meiosis two if it's fertilized. So when the sperm cell fertilizes the oocyte, then you complete the process to form the ovum. Okay, so the two points of arrest here. You arrest before prep before birth, and then and then at pu during, after puberty during uh, the point of ovulation, whichever ovum is being whichever oocyte is being ovulated will be the one that will complete meiosis one, start meiosis two, and arrest in metaphase two. And it will stay there until it's fertilized, then it will complete meiosis 2 to form an ovum. 
some more things. So um, the, the timeline here, is it, so you can begin with around two months of gestation. Here you start the process. By about five months of pregnancy, you have around six to seven million primary oocytes have been formed by this point because they all undergo mitosis to double, 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 double up and then, you know, begin the process here and arrest, in, and, and of course now they will arrest here in, in the first phase of, 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 of in pro phase one. Then at birth, you're down to about one to two million because they die along the way. And then by puberty, you're down to about 300 to 400,000 oocytes, primary oocytes hanging around inside your ovaries and will cycle through monthly to the development phase of ovulation and perhaps fertilization and then baby. Okay, so that is oogenesis with timeline and quantities and development. Again, begin during pregnancy and you get to be arrested at prophase one before birth. And then at puberty, you start again the process. And if you only have say a hundred ovulations or a thousand, a thousand ovulations, that means six, this is yeah, 12, 12 ovulations a month times 10, times 20, that's around what, 240 ovulations you would have, am I right there, in, for 20 years. So only about 240 of your oocytes will ever complete meiosis one to, to, to go here. And only if you're pregnant will you get to here. So if you have three babies and only have three pregnancies, only three of your oocytes will, will, will get to this point, point of being called an ovum or, or a zygote. Okay, we'll pause there.